Lakeside Dental Clinic, Go Island, is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic. Today, we're letting the dogs take over the show. Two of those dogs just happen to be Hunter and Josh. Adding big living into small spaces in Nanaimo, pro wrestling Vancouver Island style and walking in the trees on the lower mainland. You are watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. It's becoming an annual thing. We spend some time with the Nanaimo Kennel Club in anticipation of their annual dog show that takes place here at Bevan Park. And we are letting the show go to the dogs today. There's a lot of slobber and fur and all of that involved. We'll share some of that with you later on. Have you ever thought about inviting the in-laws to move in or maybe creating a rental property in the property or the home that you already have? Well, carriage houses are becoming an increasingly popular way to do that. And they're popping up all over Nanaimo. Derek Johnstone has more. We're being very careful with our blocking as to where we put the dogs today. It's quite a big day when you're meeting a lot of other breeds. It'll be nothing compared to the big event that's taking place here at Bevan Park June 12th to the 15th, the Nanaimo Kennel Club's annual dog confirmation and obedience show. What is this dog? Who are you? <laughs> Hi, I'm Holly Cook and this dog is Josh. He's a, an Irish Wolfhound. He's actually Grand Champion Pit Lockery's Joshua. And Irish Wolfhounds, as you can see, are the tallest breed, so they're actually taller than Great Dane. Okay, and what is it that you like about this breed? Uh, they're quiet and they're really a people dog, so they're very affectionate and they really like to be with with people and they don't require too much exercise despite their size. So okay. for lots of other folks have talked about obedience and agility. We're just couch potatoes. Aww, isn't that sweet? Now this guy over here isn't too sure what to think about Josh. Who, yeah. who is this? This is Hunter. He's a four-year-old Brittany Spaniel. Um, he, he is a, a, a show champion, um, but mostly we do with sports. We have titles in obedience, rally obedience, agility, freestyle, dressage, um, That's and dance, and we'll talk a bit more dogs. about dancing with dogs yes. later on this edition of Go. Yes. <laughs> and his current new uh, sport is scent work. Okay, what is that? Um, it's just uh, teaching them to actually find scent, just like um, oh. uh, police dogs would find people, okay. or beagles would find uh, drugs at oh. the airport. Okay. We teach them to do that wow. as well. Now, it's not bad manners, and we've met your dog, but we haven't met you. Oh, I'm sorry, I'm Carol <laughs> Toms. <laughs> okay. I'm also a uh, trials chair for um, this show. Uh oh, and uh, um, I wanted just to say that the Obedience and Rally will be down in the um, Bowling Green this year, nice. which is very new. A so. bigger event for the Nanaimo yes. Kennel Club. So. Excellent. Mm -hmm. Sandy Malcolm, someone you've seen on our channel before, very involved with the Nanaimo Kennel Club. Who have you got here? I have Skyler. She is seven months old miniature schnauzer, and she's a little pistol. And what do you, you bred? I bred her. And what is it that you like about this breed? I like everything about this breed, but especially I like that they're small, they don't shed, and you have a lot of dog in a small package. They don't know they're small. They think they're all Irish wolfhounds and labs and stuff. Okay. They're, they're dogs in a little box. So they kind of make up for it in attitude, oh, would you feisty. say? They're feisty, yeah. <laughs> Excellent. For sure. Thanks, yeah. Sandy. Yeah, you're welcome. The annual Kennel Club show does run here at Bevan Park June 12th to 15th. We're going to tell you more about it after a short break. Still to come today, the island's own version of pro wrestling has all that you'd hope for and visiting one of Vancouver's oldest and busiest attractions. Hi, this is Christine McCauley from Bernard Calibo Chocolates. And did you know that we just launched a fabulous new chocolate, the Nanaimo Mite? It's our take on the Nanaimo Bar chocolate, and it is Dino Mite. And did you know that World Oceans Day is coming up on Sunday, June the 8th? And over on Gabriola, they have quite a celebration planned. It's running from 11 a.m. until 3 p.m. It includes a whole lot of things, including a fish walk and talk, a stream keepers tour. There are divers in the water and sea life. There's kids activities. It all takes place at Descano Bay on Gabriola Island. World Oceans Day on Sunday, 
June the 8th. You're watching Go Island on Shaw TV Channel 4. Did you also know that the Nanaimo Kennel Club is hosting their annual show on June 15th through, sorry, 12th through the 15th, pardon me. And um, Doug is with the Kennel Club, and I'm just, I'm staring at Rico because he's so beautiful. What kind of dog is this? This is a Newfoundland. Okay. One of Canada's dogs. One of Canada's dogs. That's what we like to hear. Now, Doug told me that he needs to sort of hurry and get through this interview because you're going to dance class? Yeah, dan uh, free <laughs> freestyle dance for dogs. Okay, yep. could you show me a little bit about what that looks like? We and I'm going to switch sides entirely. We can try, but he's a little sedate right now. Rico, you stand up, please. Okay. You ready? Good boy. Okay, you ready? Under. Under. Good boy. <laughs> So who's doing more of the dancing? You or the dog, do you think? It's me most of the time. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Rico. Now, there is an obedience section that's coming up in the show that you have uh, here on June the 12th. Uh, is Rico in obedience? Well, I'm hoping so. <laughs> He's not paying too much attention right now. Well, there's a lot going on. We have a lot of members of the Nanaimo Kennel Club out today. Your annual show is huge. Tell me a bit about what people can expect. Um, we have a number of things going on. Uh, confirmation will be up at the Centennial Building, and this year for the first time we have obedience and rally obedience down at the uh, Bowling Green. Okay. Now, what are the things that you admire so much about the Newfoundland dog? Um, mostly their personality. Uh, the fact that uh, the biggest thing in their breed is their temperament, that they're just friendly overall, continually, and it is the number one thing for the breed. And you don't mind all the hair? No. And slobber? <laughs> you, you definitely have to get used to it. But for us, uh, he gets blown off every time he comes in the house. So we keep a dog blower that's like a reverse vacuum cleaner going on the porch and blow him off every time he comes in the house. Can you try another move with Rico? Sure. Rico. And while uh, Doug's trying some more removes with Rico there, we're going to have another look at a story that Rayanne Plant, LaPlante brought to us a little while ago about uh, WWE wrestling on Vancouver Island. Not dog wrestling. Hello, is this called the two tango? Is this, I don't know. <laughs> they say never work with animals and children. Uh, today we're doing both. This is, tell me your name. Panayota. Panayota Runa, she's seven years old and she is a junior dog handler. Yes. Now, none of these. One of these dogs is yours. Will you yes. introduce me to your dogs? Okay. Okay. You can carry that with you. Okay. Who's this? Um. This is my grandma's dog, Beamy, which is my dog's brother. Okay. And who's that over there with the um, glorious ponytail? This is Ruby. This is my grandma's other dog. How many dogs does your grandma have? Two. And what kind of dogs are these? Old English sheep dogs. Old English sheep dogs, okay. And what do you like about old English sheep dogs? Um, that they're fluffy and they're fun and they're big. And they're big, okay. So who is this one over here? This is Charlie, um, Diane's, Deanne's mom. Okay, um, dog. Deanne's dog. <laughs> But she's kind of like the mom in the household because she probably she runs a few things. And who is this? This is a puppy? This is my dog, Ari, and he is four months. Okay, I'm going to get you to sit down here again with me and tell me what it is that you like about going into dog show because you're going to be handling a dog, right, on June the 12th to the 15th what are you what do you like about doing that um i like that you get to use a dog and you get to walk it around and do all sorts of stuff with the dog and you have to be in charge you have to yes, be in control and you right have to be in charge and how, how do you let the dog know that you are the master and you're in charge you tell it what to do and um, when it tries to pull you, you just pull it back. Okay, and you be consistent, right? Yeah, okay, you these don't... two are having too much fun. <laughs> they are so cute. They're having fun. <laughs> they look like they're going to go a little bit crazy, which is what we like here on Go Island. Hi there, buddy. Who is this again? This is Beamy. Hi, Beamy. Okay, well, while Beamy and I have a bit of a tug of war with a blue 
dragon. We're going to throw things a over. A dog. A dog. We're going to throw <laughs> things over to Johanna Ward. It's another installment of Big Summer. I think the dog won. He won. He got the, Yeah, he got won. Stuffy. Yeah. The Capilano Suspension Bridge also has an interactive kids program. It's called the Rainforest Explorers. They also have a Birds of Prey show running there from June 22nd until September the 2nd. And there's a special discount for BC residents. So if you call BC home and you want to check out the Capilano Suspension Bridge, you can get a year's pass for the cost of one day's entry. That brings us to the end of this edition of Go Island. A final note that the Nanaimo Kennel Club's annual dog show confirmation and obedience runs here at Bevan Park June 12th to 15th and new this year they're having a bench show which is really an interactive way for you to learn about specific breeds. It's a question and answer session. Admission to the dog show is free and uh, there's never a dull moment when you're working with animals and there'll be lots of kids on hand as well. Thanks for watching Go Island. We'll see you next time. Lakeside Dental Clinic Go Island is brought to you by Lakeside Dental Clinic, a division of the Vancouver Island Implant Center, delivering dental services, including dental implants and sedation dentistry, all under one roof. Clothing supplied by Catwalk Fashions, Kate's hair and aesthetics provided by Maffeo Salon.